I'm Jared Brown with the Memphis Tiger Network. We're here at FedEx Forum where today Charles Holt, Farrakhan Hall, Stan Simpson, and DJ Steffen celebrated their senior day with a dominating 86-71 win over the UAB Blazers. For the game, coaches and fans celebrated the four Tiger seniors. Charles Holt was a walk-on for Memphis over his four years as Tiger and will graduate with an engineering degree. Chicago native Stan Simpson compiled over 70 points and 55 rebounds in his two years with Memphis. Farrakhan Hall returned home to Memphis two and a half years ago after starting his career at Seton Hall and put up 137 points and 116 rebounds as a Tiger. And of course, DJ Steffens received an enormous ovation from his fans as he made his way onto the floor with his family. In his four years, the Killeen, Texas native has compiled 470 points, 228 of those points coming thanks to 116 dunks and brought down 404 boards. Thank you and good luck to all the seniors. Early in the first half, Chris Crawford led Memphis on an 11-5 run, scoring 7 of those 11 points, putting Memphis up 17-8 with 13 minutes left in the first half. Over the next few minutes, UAB went on a 6-0 run, cutting the Memphis lead to 4 with 8 minutes to play in the half. But Memphis stretched the lead back out with a 7-0 spurt with back-to-back -back buckets from Jaron Johnson to put the Tigers back up 31-20 with 4 minutes to play in the half. The Blazers cut the lead to seven before trades from Johnson and Crawford helped push Memphis' lead to 43-28 going into half. Johnson led the Tigers with 14 points in the half, while the Tigers picked up 12 steals with Joe Jackson snagging five to lead the Tigers. Memphis came out cold in the second half, missing its first five shots and allowed UAB to cut the lead to within one point with 14.40 left to play in the game. Then Jackson and Steffens combined for the next eight points over two minutes of play to get the Tigers' lead back to 53-45 with 13 to play. From that point on, it was all Memphis as the Tigers extended their lead to as much as 24 with three minutes left to play en route to the 86-71 win to cap off an undefeated 16-0 Conference USA season. Chris Crawford led Memphis with a season-high 20 points, going 5 for 10 from behind the arc for his sixth straight game in double figures. Johnson recorded 19 for the Tigers, while Jackson finished with 17 points, 10 assists, 9 rebounds, and 6 steals to record a double-double for the second time in the season. Steffens also finished in double figures for the Memphis, tallying 13 points and 8 rebounds. Hopefully it's not the uh, final time at the FedEx Forum for me, but as a Tiger, um, it means a lot. Um, I've grown so much. Um, I, I've accomplished a lot of things. I put a lot of blood, sweat, and tears into this program as I've been here. Um, I've grown from an 18-year-old boy to a 22-year-old man, and this city is definitely a part of me now. Um, I was really nervous. Um, last night, me and, uh, me and Farrakhan are actually roommates, and we were just sitting there staring at each other like, man, uh, tomorrow's our last home game. But coming into today, um, we were happy, um, we were excited. We were a little bit nervous because it's the last time. And um, me and him, we actually walked off the court today. Um, we were walking down the hallway together, and um, he veered off one way and I veered off another way. But um, what I didn't know was he actually went in the, um, the bathroom. Farrakhan is not a real emotional guy. He, he shed a couple of tears, and I did too. But it just shows how much we love this program and how much it means to us. And I, I'm from Texas, but I still believe blue. Being able to do it for your seniors, you know, doing it for DJ, he been for four years, Farrell too, Stan too, and Charles, you know, just going out there knowing that you want to win the game for those guys and just finish out in the perfect season. Joe Jackson, terrific game, you know, he almost won one rebound shot with triple double, you know, it just, like I said, it's contagious. First it was Jaron, now then it was me, now it's Joe, it's always that one stat that you need to get that triple double, but, you know, it's going to happen. I feel like it's going to happen for all of us. And, you know, we just got to stay patient and keep doing what we're doing. It would have been something nice for me. Um, another achievement. You know, that's, that'll go down in history. I was actually trying to get the quadruple double. I was just playing ball, just trying to do a lot of stuff on the, on the court. And 
you know, it was still it was a great game. Um, all my teammates that did well, Chris, um, Jaron, DJ, Black, everybody played well. So um, I'm happy for that. Talking about how special the 16 0 is, and how hard was it to do? You, have, you know, a lot of national guys saying, "Well, it doesn't mean anything in CUSA," but let's talk about how tough it was. Oh, it's tough. Um, every night you got to find a way to pull it out. You know, I mean, there's some good teams in this league, and if you are not bringing it. They'll be they'll beat you. So I mean we just did a great job playing in the conference, just being able to win every game, you know, even the ugly games. We had to uh, pull them out. Tremendous win. To go sixteen and zero in league play is special. And to think where we started earlier in the season, you know, a lot of negativity, this, that, darts and arrows being thrown at us by a lot of people in here and people in the outside, but to be able to to stay with a tremendous, as I call it, the caravan, that the caravan stayed on course with tremendous positive energy, and to be able to do something like what we just did is so hard to do. You appreciate it. You don't take it for granted. It's not a birthright. And, and uh, don't try to you live in the present, enjoy this moment, because it's a special team to do what we just did. We have tremendous young men academically, socially, and athletically. And for them to be able to do what they just accomplished, I'm so darn proud of these young men. Awesome. That is a very good UAB team. Uh, I think they play so hard, UAB. They are very well coached. I could easily see Jared Haas getting coach of the year. Wouldn't surprise me. And he's, and he's done a great job with this, with this team. I mean, I, I, you know, I've, there's multiple coaches that are, could, could earn coach of the year in the league, and Jared's one of them. That's a very good basketball team that we had to play. Showed a lot of character for us that we, they came back, and then we had to find a way to, to uh, pull away and get the win. Great win. I'm so proud of guys like Farrakhan Hall and Stan Simpson. Man, I, I know those guys haven't played a lot, and they've been at times where they've started before, and, and that's not easy to do. And they've kept, Corey, they've kept a tremendous positive attitude. They've been, they, they've been great teammates. Their teammates love them. We're very thankful. I'm very honored and blessed to have been able to coach them. Same thing with Charles Holt. Obviously, you know, Charles Holt you know, was a walk-on, but, but he gave us so many great things in practice. And all four seniors are going to graduate in the spring. Charles Holt in engineering, Stan Simpson in communication. So all guys are going to be graduating. You know, DJ, I, I mean, DJ was a zero-star recruit. To go from a zero-star recruit to where he is today, it's amazing. So um, how he went out, I mean, DJ played DJ Steffens basketball today. The Tigers will look to ride the momentum from the two-game win streak into the Conference USA tournament next week in Tulsa, Oklahoma. For the Memphis Tiger Network, I'm Jared Brown.